So the truck's all loaded up. We're heading to her mom and dad's to get a ride to the airport. And we'll start our long, long journey to Alaska. You ready? I'm ready. I'm ready too. Let's go. Well, we're on our second leg. Mama picked us up and we're heading to the airport. <laughs> Should be good times. What are you doing? Looking for something to eat. Where are we? Seattle. How long of a layer we have? Two hours. <laughs> and we need a drink. Yeah, and then another four hour flight, right? Yeah. To Fairbanks. So we made it in last night around midnight. Uh, it was probably only like a 10, 15 minute drive from the airport to our Airbnb, but this place is pretty cool. So we got some good rest last night. Uh, just found out that we are the last guests that they will have at their a Airbnb because they're going to turn this into a art studio. So kind of a bummer because it's a cool place, but you know, people got to do what they got to do. So our first stop was out the Museum of the North. It was absolutely mind-blowing to see all of what they had in there. Give yourself four or five hours to actually just ingest everything that was there because it was just an awe-inspiring visit. Please check back later. I'm going to do another video about this place because there is way too much to cover in this one video. It was absolutely just mind blowing of everything that was in here. So the next place we wanted to visit was the Morris Thompson Cultural and Visitor Center. They have a lot of information there. They actually have some state park uh, people that work there. They give you maps and what to do around Fairbanks and the different animals. Any, anything to do with Fairbanks, it's in this place and it's all free. So do yourself a favor, go there. But in their gift shop, you can actually get a Aurora certificate. Unfortunately, they have really weird hours and we was not able to get one. Well, we made it to Chena Hot Springs. Chena. Chena? Chena? Chena. 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 I don't know. Who knows? 
but uh, as we were driving here it started to snow and it's still snowing so hopefully it don't snow too bad because there is no cell service and there is nothing to pull off to do so <laughs> you can't get gas nothing so before you make this trip make sure you got a full tank So after enjoying a great soak in the hot springs, we actually went into the uh, ice museum. So it was kind of good because it was pretty cold in there. But uh, as you can see, I'm going to go through this really quickly, but uh, everything's made of ice. You can put on jackets that they have. It really wasn't that bad in there, but it was neat to see all the ice stuff and uh, watch them make the glasses, the Appletini glasses. And then uh, at the end, my wife did the uh, tradition of smashing the glass on the ground so it was pretty cool a little expensive for what it was but uh it was cool to see and it would be definitely worth uh coming here to do it Hold on. Tell me what you're getting ready to do. Break my apple teeny glass. All right, go for it. Nice. <laughs> was that fun? Yeah. <laughs> was that worth buying the martini? Yeah, it was a pretty cool experience. Okay. So after we got that, we explored the park a little bit, found a little place to hike, uh, did a whole bunch of other stuff, and was hoping that we would get to see the Northern Lights. And it did not disappoint. This is what we saw from the parking lot, and we could not wait to get up on the mountain. If you've never seen something so beautiful, that just brought you to tears. Me and my wife, as soon as we saw this, we cried because it was such a great experience. Hopefully one day you guys can experience the same thing as we did. So if you ever find yourself in Fairbanks, please visit the cookie jar. You will not be disappointed. So the next place we went was North Pole, Alaska. Uh, it's kind of like a little tourist trap, but there's some cool things there. There's some reindeer, 
and then there's Santa's workshop and you can just like send kids letters from the North Pole and uh, it's just a cool experience so check it out. So we drove out here to Chena Lake. Uh, it's right outside of the North Pole and it's snowing pretty good but we wanted to come get some video and pictures because this is a pretty cool place to look at. Uh, they have a beach, so I guess when it's not winter, you can swim. So, but it's snowing pretty good. I'd say there's probably half an inch or more on the ground right now. It's supposed to get like six to eight today. So it'll be a fun little adventure. So we're heading back to our Airbnb and I kind of took a hyperlapse of us driving in the snow. Um, we're not going this fast, trust me, but it was a pretty cool experience to experience snow in Alaska. Um, it kind of screwed up some of our plans that we had to do, but it was cool to see. So before we headed back, we stopped at Hungry Robot. I definitely would hit this place up, but make sure you go early because they have a long wait time. So we stayed in one day because it was snowing too bad. So we just relaxed, watched some TV and enjoyed each other's company. Still snowing, but we ventured out today and we are at the pipeline. So this is a pull-off section that you can visit, everybody visits. So pretty cool sign right here, has the pipeline made out of metal. And these people made it for them. And then there's an old cleaner that used to be ran through the pipeline to clean it. And then there's a new style cleaner, but Snow is supposed to stop today at two, but it's supposed to be like 37 degrees today. So not too shabby for uh, our second to the last day. What do you think, honey? Ravens. Where are we at? Antique Auto Museum. Why are you shushing me? Because you said that like super loud. Well, gotta make sure it picks up, right? This is a must see. Even if you don't like cars, just go in here to experience the time periods because they have clothing and other artifacts that are from that time period. It was just neat to see the prices of vehicles back then and all the information you could gather. Where are we at? Creamer's Field. What is it? It is a migratory, migratory bird. Sanctuary? Sanctuary area.
thank you all for watching. This was a great, great experience, and I'm glad to have it with my wife. So this was a 10 year anniversary present to ourselves, and we enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoyed the video also. Hopefully one day you will get to go experience what Alaska has to offer. We were sad though, we did not see a moose the whole time we were there. And until next time, we'll see you later.